Hi, my name's Amy from Cattle Upon a Hill. Today I want to show you how to skim the cream off your farm fresh milk. So he, let me first tell you what tools I have. We have the farm fresh milk, which is in the caddy that we use to bring it up to the house from the barn. I will link the um, link for the caddy in the description of this video. You can get these on Amazon. We also have a normal funnel that we use in canning, a quart jar. I prefer wide mouth quart jars for this job for easy cleanup, but I didn't have one on hand today, so I'm just using the regular quart jar. And then I also have the pitcher that we're going to put the milk in after we've skimmed the cream. And finally, the ladle. I just use a regular kitchen ladle to skim the cream off the milk. But the one trick about this is that you get the ladle wet because that will help the cream not to stick to the ladle. All right, so let's get started. Here's the milk. Here we go. I'm going to take my wet ladle and I'm just going to dip it in here like this. This is all cream. Get this as close as possible so I don't drip and just pour it into this quart jar. And we're going to just keep repeating that. You don't dip very deep, maybe half the ladle into the milk pour it into the quart jar. And I try to go around the outside edge, like so. Around the outside edge over here. I went a little deeper that time. I'm still just into the cream. Now I know with my cow, we have a Jersey, so she has a lot of buttermilk in her, in her milk. So I will get at least one quart of cream from my cow. If you have a Holstein, you're not going to get quite as much cream as if you had a Jersey or a Guernsey, cows that are known for higher butter fat. Okay, we're at about three quarters of a quart. Okay, now let me show you something. If you look in here, you can start to see it's a little bit thinner. So there it's thinner, so I know that I'm getting to the end of the cream. I'm gonna do one more time. I don't know if I'll fit it into the jar, but yeah, that's about all I can do in my quart jar. So then this is what it looks like. You can kind of see how the milk looks a little bit more watery. You can see how it's swirling. That's still a little bit of cream in the milk. So I do leave some cream in the milk. It's good um, fat for growing children or for yourself for that matter. But what I do then is I just take my ladle and I stir it up, stir up the rest of the cream. Now I still did get some cream that's stuck to this. You could take your finger and scoop it out. I already have too much cream, so I'm just going to put this in the, the dishes. All right, and so then with what I have left, now this will not stay separated. When you buy milk at the store, it's called homogenized milk where they use a mechanical process to, to um, blend the milk with the leftover cream. So you would have to stir this up every time you, you drink it. I usually don't stir it up when we drink it. We just get a little bit of cream on our milk and it's, it's delicious the way it is. So this is the milk that we will drink. Put the cover on. This is a 50 cent on sale pitcher that I've had for a couple years from Walmart. So now the cream, you just take the funnel off and here you have a cream, put a cover on it. Now, what can you do with this cream? There's lots of things you can do with this cream. You can put creamer in your coffee, which is something I really enjoy. It's just fresh, farm fresh raw cream in my coffee. You could make whipped cream in your Vitamix or other high powered blender. You can make butter in your high powered blender and I will show you how to do that in an, a future video. Other things, you can make sour cream, ice cream. There are just so many things that you can do with your farm fresh cream. And then your farm fresh milk, you can make cottage cheese. There's a recipe on my website for cottage cheese. Um, you can just drink it is what we normally do. Um, you can make mozzarella cheese as well. There's a lot of things you can do with uh, farm fresh milk. So in a future video, I'll show you some other things. Oh, make yogurt, another one of my favorites. And I'll show you how to do that. Kefir is another thing you can make with it. So this is the simple way to skim the cream off your farm fresh milk. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye. One thing I forgot to mention about your farm fresh milk and when to skim the cream off the milk. 
You should let your milk sit for a minimum of 12 hours after you've milked the cow. 24 hours is better. This gets a thicker cream. Um, and also another tip is not to jostle the milk around. When you're ready to skim the cream, gently move the, the, the milk container to where you're going to skim it. If you jostle it around, of course, you mix the cream back in with the milk. So gently move it 12 to 24 hours before you skim. All right, thanks.